The important part of the Curva coaching method is attacking skills, the selected skills of dribbling and one situations. I'm made to look easy by young. Remember, these boys have been working with plenty of practice. The skills can be learned by means of the value achieved here. In this lesson, we shall to perfect four of the most suitable moves to shield opponent comes from the left, thereby shielding the ball direction. A challenge from the side and change an outside foot cut. You'll notice this opponent. Player steps round the ball and brings it away with the opposite foot. Four of the most suitable moves to this is the first. The play with the inside of the foot. After stopping it with his sole, and this time a left foot step over. The ball is taken away. Them too close to the opponent. Builds the ball as it's turned around with the. It's important to move away once you've made the move. These moves challenges from the left and right side. The outside and inside of the foot are ideal shielding and change of direction move. Constant repetition, getting better step by step. Step over and left foot. Shielding the ball, changing direction, all indispensable moves possession. The step on. At a slower pace, but once the move is made, accelerate quickly away. The player pretend and pulls the ball behind the standing leg with the instep of the kicking foot. Changing direction, he then turns the ball with the body. These exercises have given them valuable practice on using the four moves to beat challenges from the right and left side. A double move. Should the opponent react quickly to the first move, the immediate use of a second move often fools him. Here the player pulls the ball around with the sole, then does a step over, sending the opponent who moves to the left in the wrong direction. Another double move. The player steps on the ball, shielding it from his opponent, then steps left behind the ball and then takes the ball to the right with his left foot. Now a double move. The opponent is on the right side. The player stomps the ball with his sole, then suddenly does a scissors and moves away from his opponent. Another double move when the opponent is on the right. The players work in pairs, each taking turns. Constant practice, together with encouragement moves as often as possible, is essential. In this lesson, the players practice four different moves to get past opponents. To the right, if the approach is from the left, and to the left, if the approach is from the right. Here, they use the outside and the inside of the foot cut. If the approach from the opponent is slow, the outside and inside of the foot spin round is very effective. As you can see, the body shields the ball first before the player spins off into the other direction. attacks from the left. As he does so, the ball is turned with the tip of the sole away from him. When the approach is from the right, the player steps on the ball and pulls it behind him into another direction.
Here, the opponent attacks from the left. As he approaches, the ball is turned away with the sole. When the attack is from the right, the ball is dragged back and played into the opposite direction with the instep of the same foot. Some opponents react quickly. In such cases, the use of double moves is important. Here, a drag back with the sole stops the opponent momentarily, and before he can react again, the player steps on the ball and pulls it behind and goes off with the opposite foot. Here, the opponent blocks a move to the right. The player cuts the ball first with the outside of the foot, which then immediately makes a step over move with the opposite foot. Now, a drag back with the sole and a step over with the same foot. Stopping the ball with the tip of the sole and then stepping around it with the same foot. This is an effective game move, which is rarely seen in any match. What better reason for the boys to practice as much as possible and try to introduce it to their games? Now the boys concentrate on beating players when receiving the ball with their back to the opponent, as often happens in a game. Instead of just passing backwards, we teach them the option of going past their marker either to the right or left. Here they receive the ball and step over to pull the marker to one side, then go past on the opposite side. A variation of the step over. Now they do a step over, but spin round and take the ball with the outside of the other foot. Here they spin round after a step over and take away with the same foot. These movements confuse the marker who doesn't expect the player who has his back to him to get past. The player receives the ball and shields it from his marker, then pretends to strike the ball with the inside of the foot, but instead takes it with the inside of the other foot in the opposite direction. Players are taught many variations. Here the player does a double fake, first pretending to strike the ball, but then doing a step over with the opposite foot. Such moves are seldom seen in matches, mainly because they're not taught to players in training sessions. These exercises not only show you how to beat a marker behind you, but also how to practice kicking and receiving techniques. Here the ball is received and immediately pulled behind the standing leg with the instep of the kicking foot. For a clear summary of the moves to dominate the opponent in different one against one situations, we've limited the moves to four. The players will probably favor one or two, but we leave it up to them to choose. In this lesson, there are 12 exercises designed to teach players four moves and double moves to beat face-on challenges. First moves to get past opponents on the left side. Here the player fakes to take the ball to one side with the outside of the foot, but then takes it to the opposite side with the opposite foot. This move is made behind the ball. The player feints to strike the ball, but instead steps around it and takes it in the opposite direction with the outside of the step over foot. During the basic training section, we saw six to nine year olds use this move both in practice exercises and during their small games finishing on goal. Here, the player on the inside of the ball, then take it with the inside of the other foot in the same direction. The early parts of the program have given the boys wonderful flexibility and balance.
Here, the ball is cut inside onto the opposite foot, which sweeps it away. Such moves offer both player and spectator some of the most exciting moments of a game. It's surprising that up to now, individual moves have not been a major part of training sessions. Now they practice four moves to beat an opponent on the right side. The player steps outside the ball, then takes it with the outside of the other foot in the opposite direction. It's important to accelerate away quickly after the initial movement. Cutting the ball from one foot onto another is an effective move to avoid onrushing opponents. Step right behind the ball, then take it left with the out foot. This is a very simple but effective move. The fourth single move to get past an opponent's right side. The player pretends to cut the ball inside with the inside of one foot, but then takes it with the inside of the opposite foot in the opposite direction. The first opponent's left side. The players step right and then left and the of the early ball feeling exercises leading up to this section. And double move. The players drag the ball inside with the inside of the foot, then push the ball outside and foot. As with all moves, it's important to accelerate quickly away. The first double move to get past the opponent's right side. This combines first stepping around the outside of the ball to one side, with stepping around the inside of the ball to the opposite side. The ball is then taken with the opposite foot in the other direction. However when its reactions are, these double moves make it difficult to defend against. Move to go past the opponent's right side. The players drag the ball inside, then the ball with the same foot, but take it in the opposite direction with the other foot. Now, in six drills, four players practice receiving, kicking technique, and beating opponents. It chips the ball to a partner who, after exchanging a first time pass, takes on on a poop of his choice. The ball played back to a player at the far end. Receiving well, the player own move to beat two opponents. Individual action in beating opponents has always been a stick of all-star players throughout the history of soccer, so it'll follow that we should encourage this important ability in all young soccer players. Two players take turns to beat a challenge from the, the change of direction move of their own choice. The players constantly change position during this drill. Two players continuously pass and receive changing places. Their technique is so good by now that the tempo is continually speeded up. With each touch of the ball, they become more skillful, more alert and more willing to practice harder. The one against one.